Hi everyone, this is my first video post in the new year 2020 and as the topic suggests I want to talk about faith, pray and love. Now regardless of whether you believe in God or whether you have a faith in God, um, we all humans at some point in our life, many times in our life, will um, place our faith in someone or something. I googled up the term faith and um, it came up as faith is to fully put your trust or confidence in someone or something and I'm sure as humans that's what you know we've done that we've it may be either upon ourselves um, or we put our faith on someone else or we put our faith put our faith in a belief um, or we put our faith in theory or in knowledge um, or in God so that's quite a common thing that we do now what I just want to mention is the term faith in the Greek as mentioned in the Bible it's a Greek term called pistis p-i-s-t-i-s -I -I I'm not a Greek um, scholar I do not know Greek I have an app in my phone that transliterates it for me, so that's how I know. There you go. Uh, so this word pistis means um, faith that originates from God or it's a gift from God for us. Now our faith, human faith that comes from us is um, ever changing. It can waver from day to day, from situation to situation it can waver from person to person um, but God's faith the gift of faith that um, he imparts into man is not something that changes it is strong it is eternal because God doesn't change so when someone says you know have faith remember that you can look up to God for his faith to work in you and through you to carry you through anything you don't have to rely on your faith because our faith can diminish and it can heighten depending on what's going on but just remember that faith is a gift from God and just rely on God's faith that will work in you the next one is love. Okay, so there is there are several words um, for love in Greek and in other languages that mean different things. And a popular word um, that maybe a lot of Christians may have heard is the word agape. Now, I'm not going to talk about agape love, although, but it is related to that. The word is agapaho. So it's A-G-A-P-A-H-O. And this word is in the Bible, it's referred to whenever it says, um, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your strength and all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Now, it's really interesting because the true meaning behind this word is not um, love that comes from humans or love that we have. But it is God's love working through you. So it's a it's really originating from God because God is love. And so it's his love when it comes into you and works in you and through you. And so in a way, we are partnering with God. And it's not us loving because it you can imagine how can someone you know love our neighbor as ourselves all the time that's gonna again a bit like human faith it's gonna waver uh, you know if you're nice to me I'll be nice to you if you love me I'll love you that's just human nature um, and to a degree we can love we can you know bear with each other but to truly make it come to pass when God's agape love works in you and through you 
that's called agapaho. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I just want to let you know about this because it takes that burden off. You know, when Jesus said, come to me, carry my yoke, my burden is light. It truly means, come on, I'm going to give you this stuff. I'm going to pour out my love in you so that you can love. I'm going to give you my faith so that you can believe and stand, stand firm. The next word or the next term for pray is very similar in meaning to these two words. It's um, now, I don't know if I should attempt to pronounce it. Prosecuomai. Um, P-R-O-S-E-U-C-H-O-M-A-I. This word pray, it means... To literally interact with God in prayer and exchange your wishes with his will or his wishes. So when you think of, you know, you're hearing pray harder, pray more or pray, pray, um, and then something will happen. Well, it's not you praying and you doing things, but it's really where you come into a connection with God where you give to God what's on your heart and he gives you and it's like this exchange that happens he pretty much takes what you've got and he gives you what he's got which is divine which is special this is the word used um, in the place where Jesus prayed at the garden of Gethsemane this is um, used in several places in the New Testament uh, because it's written in Greek. So it's a Greek term. I, again, I'm not here to promote um, my Greek knowledge because I do not have that. But the meaning is really important and it will really take the stress, take the pressure of you and the focus of you and really look at what God has given you so even in prayer even when God wants us to pray it's really this interaction where it's not just you doing something it's not just you offering God something but it's a divine exchange so have faith pray love God won't ask you to do things if he hasn't already given you the ability to do it. So wherever your um, life is at the moment, whatever situation you're in, be victorious. Don't feel defeated because the faith that you are able to have when you focus in your mind and know that actually this is from God, when my faith is zero, God's faith will remain working through you. When my love for someone is just absent, God's love will flow through you. Just allow for it to happen. When my prayers are absent and when it's zero, when I cannot pray, when I don't know what to pray, when I do not know what to pray, God will interact with your heart and just exchange your situation with his. So even when you're just not sure what to say, what to pray, that in itself is enough for God to exchange his desires for you. So stay blessed. I'm sorry it's a long video. I did not want it to be long. But um, I hope you're encouraged. So have faith, pray and love because God is already doing things in you and through you. Stay blessed.